My friends, I've been hiding something from you for quite a while now and it's pretty much the craziest story I ever shared on this channel. It involves traveling to one of the world's most secluded islands, being trapped there by a huge tropical storm, almost drowning while playing guitar in the middle of the ocean and all that is barely scratching the surface. So I feel like now is finally the perfect time to share this insane story with you and it starts like this. Can you actually play guitar fully submerged underwater and what does that sound like? That's exactly what we will find out in this video. So come with me. We got a flight to catch. We're starting the adventure with a flight very early in the morning to a small secret secluded island in the Caribbean Sea. Because we can't really do this experiment on a party beach, we need absolute silence and no tourists. So we took a very small plane with an airline I've never heard about. Nato made sure that the camera is ready for the vlog and we're ready for takeoff. Upon arriving, I love checking out the very small airport. And as you can see, I'm bringing quite a lot of equipment with me. I'm bringing a special underwater camera to capture both the video and the audio tracks and also some underwater headphones so that I can have a click track in my ear to play the song. Because the main goal is capturing a full music video underwater. Let's see if we can do that. Upon exiting the small airport, we were greeted with this vehicle. We were driving for around three hours and I got to check out plenty of the amazing Colombian countryside. I was a bit worried about my seatbelt though, but that was the best one I could find since all of the others were broken. On the way we took a quick stop to get some water for $2,550. That's pesos of course not US dollars. This is as far as the car could take us. Now we have to get on a boat. We were instructed to gather all of our things on the beach first. As you can see I did not want to let go of my guitar. We got some help with loading all of our equipment on the boat. In the meantime we had to take on our safety jacket. It did take me a while to figure it out and I'm also wearing it inside out. Looking at the waves behind me I was already a bit worried. Of course Nata was relaxed as always. And here comes the only quick video I captured of this absolute hell ride on the boat. After surviving this very, very bumpy ride, the beautiful island started to appear out of nowhere. But looking to the left, I got a little bit worried again. It looks like there's a giant tropical storm raging out there. And I really, really hope this one doesn't reach us. On the island, we started settling in by checking out our Finca. This was the spacious and really nice room that we had. What you can see here right away is the big mosquito net above the... <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna say this? No. What you can immediately see right here is the huge mosquito net placed above our bed. This one is really important, especially during the night, so you don't get eaten alive. Some storage space for my equipment and most importantly, a fan, because it gets really, really hot on this island. As soon as we wanted to start capturing some underwater takes, it started to rain. So it does look like the storm is heading into our direction, which is kind of the worst thing that can happen to us on this island, because with the rain, there also come the waves. As you can see, it's pretty much impossible for me to capture any kind of underwater guitar playing with the raging winds and waves we have right now. But we tried to stay positive and it was time for my daily nighttime ritual. This is a very famous Colombian soap. You have to make sure to put this on absolutely every body part if you don't want to get stung to death. Right, Mungo. We spent the rest of the night looking out into the dark ocean, hoping that the storm will pass quickly so we can finally capture our underwater guitar takes. So guess where the modem is? So yeah, we tried our very best to get some internet and reception on this island. And apparently the best way of getting reception is putting the modem as high as possible. It's in the tree! <laughs> Since the weather has only improved a little bit, we still couldn't capture any footage. But as we went to bed, we knew that tomorrow is going to be the day. And great news, it looks like we were right. This is not the calm before the storm, it's the calm after the storm. I could finally take my guitar and we were heading down to the beach. We decided to film out there to the right because there's no one swimming there. Heavy enough. But after one minute we encountered our first big problem already. The guitar was floating and it was impossible to play underwater, so we had to make it heavier. I got a lot of help from our team as they were gathering stones that fit exactly into the sound hole of the guitar. And once I could barely lift it, we were off to the filming location. Nata was in charge of capturing the audio and video. You can see her snorkeling next to me trying to find the absolute perfect spot. It looks like we found it, so here's the big moment. We are finally shooting our underwater takes. So we just got some pretty good underwater shots. 
minutes. And I just dragged everything into Premiere. So after just dragging the footage into Premiere and giving it a super quick look, it was time to light the traditional New Year's fire in Colombia. This is one of the oldest ancestral traditions in Colombia. And there's actually a really, really interesting reason for why they light this fire. It's to burn handmade puppets like this one. As you can see, they usually place them on top of the fire like this. And this cute little burning handmade doll symbolizes burning the old year and all it represents, essentially to cleanse the bad memories of the past and to welcome good fortune for the upcoming year. And as I saw this little guy burning to death in front of my eyes, I can confirm that Colombia has the most metal traditions of any country, I guess. So on the next day, I was still sure that I got the takes of a lifetime underwater. So before checking out the footage further, we went on a trip into the town. Upon entering the very small town on this remote island, I was quite surprised to find it completely empty. Maybe everyone is still sleeping after New Year's Eve. We found a cool turtle sanctuary. They are not making turtle soup right here, I promise. They are nurturing and protecting them and finally releasing them to the wild. I also saw a sloth on my way home. I've never seen one of these. But I know why you clicked on this video. You're wondering what's up with those underwater takes. Well, when we finally sat down and checked them out in detail, we were in for a very, very rough surprise. Pretty much all of the footage we shot was completely unusable. The water appeared to be really clean and transparent when we were filming, but it looks like the camera is telling a different story with all of the turbulence and sand particles. And we were also not filming close enough, so the camera did not pick up any sound at all, except for this. But instead of accepting defeat, we immediately formed a new game plan by sailing out into the really, really deep waters. I'm kind of scared of the open ocean, but fortunately today I don't have to go in at all. Nata was kind enough to offer herself so that we can capture some test footage of her to see if it makes any difference at all compared to shooting at the very shallow waters at the beach a couple of days ago. And the result was absolutely unbelievable and quite stunning. I honestly can't believe that this is the same camera. So when we compare the deep water shots with the shallow water shots, I think we have a game plan. I have to take a deep dive into the ocean as well. So today I have to conquer my fear of the ocean. We're about to go out into the deep seas to record the final takes. Okay, so no more excuses. It was time to head out again with the sailboat. Once again, I had the amazing support of our team. We needed quite a lot of people for this project. So when we started with my takes, we had the bright idea of attaching some additional weight to me. So I was not only holding a very, very heavy guitar filled with stones, there were also multiple weights attached to me so that I would sink more easily into the ocean. But with the first take we shot, it almost went horribly wrong. I still had to let out all of the air in my body in order to sink. And I was closing my eyes because I thought it would look cooler in the music video. So I didn't actually feel that I was sinking to the ocean floor. When I was down there, I suddenly had a piercing pain in my ears because I went down way too fast. As soon as I tried to go back up, I was panicking because I thought I was barely underwater and not on the bottom of the ocean. So I almost blacked out with that first shot. That was not a great start for this video. As you can see in my face, I'm struggling quite a bit, but I was determined to keep filming and to get some great shots. And it really paid off, as you can see. You can see the full music video performance by clicking the link in the description or in the first comment down below. My most popular song called Farewell. I think that's the first time a guitar player has done this, so you definitely don't want to miss it. Just click the link in the description or in the first comment. You will not regret it. But I'm sure you're wondering right now, how does it actually sound like when you play guitar on the water? Well, we also did some close-up shots and it was actually pretty incredible for me to hear what they picked up. Listen to the pretty unique percussive sound you get by playing guitar on the water. If you know my song Farewell that I'm playing right here, I think you can even identify it. I didn't think that sound would travel like this underwater. So with this video, I can finally prove it is possible to play guitar underwater and it actually sounds pretty cool. All right, my friends, make sure to click the link in the description or in the first comment below this video to see the full underwater performance. It's quite a sight to behold and you don't want to miss it. So head over to this video right now. You will not regret it. I'll see you over there. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.